Welcome to this expository writing video. Today we are going to talk about writing the introduction, which has two parts. It has a lead sentence and it has a thesis statement. There's just two parts to this. So the first part is the lead sentence. The lead sentence is always the first sentence in your introduction. And the purpose of a lead sentence is to capture the reader's attention. You want to capture the reader's attention so that they'll want to continue reading what your essay is about. If I wrote this as my first sentence, I put water in a measuring cup. Does that sound very exciting or interesting? Mm, not really. But what if I wrote... It would take approximately 10,500,000 cups of water to fill an Olympic swimming pool. I think the second sentence would be a lot more interesting, and that would make me want to continue reading. So we want to really capture the reader's attention by having something interesting as our first sentence, which we call the lead sentence. There are several ways that you can write a lead sentence, and I'm going to give you ideas for each. The first one is to write an interesting fact. And now we're going to pretend that I'm writing about cats. And so here's my interesting fact about cat as a lead sentence. Cats can hear five times stronger than the average human can hear. Well, that's a pretty interesting sentence. So by using that interesting fact, I kind of helped to capture the reader's attention. The second lead sentence style you can use is to give a detailed description. Here is an example, again, about a cat. Alert, active, beautiful, and energetic, cats are amazing creatures. So in that example, I give a lot of detail in my description, and it helps to maybe uh, pique the listener's or the reader's interest. The third example of a lead sentence is to ask a question. Are you looking for a good companion, a faithful friend, some good clean entertainment? Then look no further and just buy yourself a cat. So by asking a question, we can draw the reader's attention and make them more interested in reading on in our expository essay. The fourth and final way to write a lead sentence is to use a statistic. A statistic is like a number. Here's an example. There are approximately 8 million cats in Canada. Well, that's pretty interesting. So that would make me want to continue reading more about cats. So remember, your first sentence is called the lead sentence, and it is used to capture the reader's attention. The second sentence of your introduction is called a thesis statement. And the second sentence in the introduction will tell the reader what the essay will be about. It's kind of like the lead sentence captures your attention, and the thesis statement tells the reader what they're going to learn about. So it tells the three main ideas that will be in the essay. And those three main ideas, again, come from the prompt. If you remember the prompt, go back and look in your book and look at the prompt, and that'll remind you of the three main ideas. Here's an example. The red writing represents my lead sentence to capture the reader's attention. And the green writing is my thesis statement, which explains the three main ideas that will be in my, in my essay. A cat's hearing is five times stronger than an average human's hearing. Cats are wonderful pets because they like to eat different foods, they are easy to care for, and they are super cute. Now, if you remember the three main ideas for writing about animals in the prompt was to explain what the animal looks like. Super cute, I included that. What it eats. 
and where it lives or how you care for it. So by including these three parts, that they eat different food, they're easy to care for, and they're super cute, I let the reader know that I'm going to be writing about the things they eat, the way you can care for them, and how they look. You'll want to notice that I didn't write about any of the details from my planning stage or brainstorm list. I'm only mentioning the main ideas. Here's an example if you are writing about a sport. Again, the red writing is my lead sentence, which is the first sentence to capture the reader's attention. And the green writing is my thesis statement, which is used to explain the three ideas, the three main ideas that I'll be writing about. Lacrosse was first played by indigenous people. Lacrosse players use lots of equipment, follow many rules, and play on a large field. Now, if you remember the prompt for writing about a sport, it said to explain the equipment or clothing, the rules or styles of play, and the playing field or space. So by saying they use lots of equipment, I'll be talking about the equipment. They follow many rules. I'll be writing about the rules. And play on a large field, I'll be talking about where they play. So this is an introduction. It has two sentences. Again, you'll want to make note that I did not use any of the details in my thesis statement. I didn't include the details that I have on my planning page and that I have from my brainstorm list. I only included in my thesis statement the three main ideas. Now you can go to your planning page and you can work on the introduction, a lead sentence and a thesis. When you write your lead sentence and thesis, it's important to use full sentences. When we worked on our planning in the main ideas and the details, we just did jot notes. But it's important that for our introduction, we have full sentences, and that way we have our full introduction completed by the time we're done our planning stage. So two sentences you need to write, a lead sentence to capture the reader's attention, and a thesis statement that explains the three main ideas you're going to write about. Have fun!